Hi, my name is Mike Rosicki. I've been working here at Stav for 10 years. I've been running the uh, Turning Center department for six years. And uh, what we strive to do here is continuous improvement. So we take a machine like this, we add a robot to it. So in this case, this robot can take the part, it washes it, it dries it, and then it palletizes the part for us. Uh, we continue to add robots to every machine, and I'll show you some other examples of that. So this here is our precision grinding machine. When we first bought this machine, it uh, did not have a robot on it. We used to hand load every individual part into it. Now we have a robot that will load the parts for us. It will also blow the parts off and clean them for us. So the part comes out a complete part, and then it saves a lot of labor, and it's a more efficient process for us. Another thing we like that we try to do at the Stop Machine is lights out running. That means we run all night long. We run one shift of uh, employees, and then two shifts of the machines doing all the work for us. So we'll come in in the morning, and this bin will be full of parts. This is our most recent addition. We uh, modified, we have a wash tank, the parts coming off complete. Parts used to fall right on top of each other, which left uh, things on the parts, so we added this robot. It now picks up the part for us and places it. So not only does it avoid the dings, we can also trace back to which part, if anything, went wrong on it. Another important aspect of what we do is quality. So we started taking these units that we made here in-house, and we actually have the robot place the part in there and check it in real time and can stop the machine from running overnight when nobody's here. So this ensures that every piece gets all important dimensions checked on every single one. Hi, I'm Mark with Stop Precision Machine. I'm a programmer machinist. I set up, program, and operate one of our Hydromat Epic machines. Um, this is a fast production machine. We're running a part now. It used to take three and a half minutes on a traditional lathe. We have that cycle time knocked down to 28.6 seconds. Um, basically, we're running a three quarter inch 416 stainless bar and producing a shaft. It comes out looking like this. So this is a blank shaft, it still has to go over to our grinding department and get ground down to the correct sizes and dimensions. So the Hydromat Epic has 12 live spindles, basically 12 machines running at once, which is what helps it to be a high production machine. So this is our two axis profile unit, allows us to contour and profile parts. This is our three axis unit that we use for circular interpolation just to make threads. Uh, we can use this for offset drill holes, pretty much anything that you could use any three axis mill, uh, mill or lathe for.